We've got a lot going today, and we just thought we would take you along for the ride. Hey guys, today I'm doing homeschool. It is a Monday morning in our house and the girls and I are busy starting our homeschooling day, but we're gonna be juggling more than homeschooling today because we're also going to be filming a video for our Tic Tac Toy channel, one of our secret playroom videos. So we've got a lot going today and we just thought we would take you along for the ride. What are you working on right now, Maya? Grammar packet. A grammar packet. And Addie, what are you working on right now? Grammar packet. Grammar as well. We're trying to knock out a little bit of our schoolwork this morning before we start filming our first scene. And then we're kind of going to go juggle back and forth between filming, schoolwork, filming, schoolwork until we get this video done. But our goal is to get it done by 2 o'clock this afternoon because we have some fun things planned for the afternoon that we wanna make sure we leave plenty of time for. On the days that we're filming, I try to give the kids a lighter load and more independent work versus lessons where I'm actually having to spend a lot of time teaching and, and explaining concepts. So that way they can work independently between the shots and we're able to be a little bit more productive. Hey girlies, since yes. we're filming in the basement, do you want to move our homeschool location down to the game room so we're nearby? Sure, yeah. All right, let's grab our stuff and we're gonna move locations. has officially moved to the basement game room. I don't know why we haven't thought to do this on our filming days before because the game room is very convenient to our secret playroom set. So we have the game room right here. We just walk down the hall and then we pop over here and here is our secret playroom where we're gonna be filming today. We have a lot of scenes in here and that way the girls can just kind of pop back and forth between the room we're filming in and the homework room and we can be slightly more productive. Hey, tell us a little bit about the video we're filming today. What happens in it? Something exciting happens. We open new toys. We do have new toys and to be open. And then something really, really exciting happens where Addie finds the, the secret girl's place where she lives. That's right. In this series we've been filming, we've had this mysterious girl that is always leaving all these fun surprises inside the secret playroom. And we're just starting to really get some questions answered about who this girl is, where she's from, and what's going on here. So there's gonna be a big part of that kind of revealed in the video we're filming today. So we're excited for it. We hope you guys enjoy watching it too. I would like to know who you guys think the secret girl in the playroom is, because Maya and I don't even know all the details yet. Our mom writes the script, so we don't get all the details about it all. That's right, I'm the one with all the secrets. I love it, nobody knows my secrets that I put in my scripts. Knocked out two scenes already. Now I need Miss Addie Girl. You working hard on homework? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. you're back in the set. Mm -hmm. I think I just heard our ring doorbell, which means what, Maya? Smoothie King's here. <laughs> We have a tradition, pretty much every time we film, we order Smoothie King. So we're gonna go take a Smoothie King break because the girls have been working really hard. We've already got a few scenes done and we're making good progress. Smoothie King is here. Yay! What flavor do you get, Maya? Chocolate. A chocolate right? Yeah, chocolate. Abby, what's your go-to? Um, I think it's like Chocolate Peanut Power Plus. They've got their Smoothie King, but Jason brought me my Sonic iced tea because I'm an iced tea lover and Sonic has the best ice. No joke. <laughs> I don't know how to Where are you, 
Why are you laughing at me? Uh, just you and your eyes, Lucy. <laughs> you like to chew on it a lot and become really cold and then force the rest of us to live in a hot house. So, <laughs> love the eyes. <laughs> Okay, it's kind of true. So I don't like hot drinks. I don't like coffee. I don't like hot tea. So I drink iced tea even if it's like 20 degrees outside. And when I drink iced tea, I get really cold. And so I like to up the heat no matter the time of year. So sorry guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm always cold. scenes are you and Maya? Two! Just two! We are speeding Woo! through today. We actually got three or four scenes done a couple nights ago. We were just kind of ahead of the game. Today is just whizzing by. I think Maya's got two scenes left. I think Addie has two more scenes left that she needs to be in and then Jason and I are actually in two scenes which we'll film at the very end. So it's 9 45. We are just like Buzzing through this today. My, what's your favorite part of filming videos for Tic Tac Toy? I don't know, it's just fun and I like to open new toys. <laughs> that is a perk, isn't it? Yes. Got some slime today in that. <laughs> what are you two working on over here? We are figuring out what thumbnail to use for Camp Radio episode three. We have three different options for thumbnails for the new Camp Radio episode that's coming out this Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can't decide which one to use, so that's oh, what we're okay. talking about right now. If you guys haven't already gone over to our Camp Radio channel to watch these episodes, you are missing out. This is a brand new series called Camp Radio, but Maya, uh -huh. Where is this new series? On Camp Radio channel. It's not on Tic Tac Toy, is it? Nope. Is it on Tic Tac Toy Family? Nope. Is Don't it, be looking it for it on there. Is it on XXO Gaming? Nope. Nope. It's the only place we can find our Camp Radio series. The Camp Radio channel. That's right, this is a series we are so proud of and excited about, guys, and we don't want you to miss it. So if you haven't done so, I'm sure there's gonna be a link somewhere that you can click right now to get over to our Camp Radio channel. Make sure you subscribe because we are releasing a new video every Saturday for this series. And we can even describe to you how fun this series was to film. We got to work with a whole bunch of new friends on a campsite and we don't need to miss it. Plus on the Camp Radio channel, we have a bunch of Meet the Cast interviews so you can get to know all the cast. And there's a blooper video and it's so much fun. Plus the trailer video mm -hmm. that kind of gives you an idea what the whole season's about. Mm -hmm. Addie and I are headed down downstairs. We're headed outside now, we are outside, to film a scene because we are going to Sadie's secret hideaway. Hey. Ooh. Now we have our little clubhouse back here behind us. Is this Sadie's secret hideaway? No. It is not because we've actually used this in our secret playroom for another thing. So we have to borrow our neighbors, neighbors. <laughs> their playhouse. And that is Sadie's secret hideaway. You want to lead the way, my Addie? Sure. All right. Here it is, Sadie's secret hideaway. It looks small on the outside, but when you open the door, it gets magically bigger. So you'll have to figure out <laughs> in the video what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> We're very thankful for the sweetest neighbors all around us who are always down for letting us use their backyards and their props and all sorts of things for our sets. Mm -hmm. Addie is officially wrapped for the video. Mai is officially wrapped for the video and now Jason and I have to wrap, and who do we have back here? Officer Jason. Officer Jason. <laughs> we have worn probably some of the craziest costumes over the years in our videos, so this is actually pretty tame. 
What's the craziest costume that dad's ever worn, you think, Addie? Okay, it's either probably like that Mr. Carbuncle from like Toy School like years like ago. Yeah. Ernie from the secret, from the Ernie's Toy Cow. Oh, he played like a nerd. Yeah, and like he had, a nerd guy. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be like that really mad scientist dude. Mm -hmm. Yes. With the eyebrow that kept falling yes, off. Yes, there's that one. Yep. What I thought for sure they were going to say, do you know what it is, Jason, what I'm thinking of? Think Bellhop Jason was a good one, but think back to our whole series on the super cool carnival. Oh my gosh, it's the hot dog man! Uh, <laughs> what I is forgot it? about that one, the hot dog man! Yes, you were a hot dog! <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, okay. So our editor got him a keychain that's literally a hot dog Lego man, <laughs> and he right. has it on his backpack. He does. I still do. Jason will forever be the hot dog guy. <laughs> What's my craziest costume I've worn over the years? I'm trying to think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What um, do you think? It could be that like evil toy maker girl who keeps stealing our ideas. Okay, in yeah. Series. In the toy maker series, the um, Lulu from the toy cafe. Oh yeah, she was pretty crazy. crazy. We, I feel like done... all your other characters have been pretty tame. Oh, housekeeper, housekeeper Natalie, Natalie with yes. that big wig. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was from Toy Hotel series. Yeah. Right. We've done so many crazy series, so many crazy costumes. It's hard to even remember them all. What about you? What's one of your craziest costumes you've worn for our videos? One of the crazier things I've done was when I was in like third or fourth grade, we did the Kindy Kids videos and I had to like act like a kindergartner in those videos. Uh huh. That, that's true. That's but true. I can't remember. I even wore the Lulu costume one time to you try did. and like bring her back from her Lulu amnesia from or the something. toy cafe. Yeah. One of my favorite costumes that both Addie and Maya wore was also from Super Cool Carnival, and it was when you guys were the old ladies. Oh yes, and I remember that. They had one. wigs with curlers in yes, their hair and yes. these like dresses that were just hysterical. I think you walked around with canes and yes, glasses. We broke those canes. Oh yeah, probably so. <laughs> That's one of my favorite memories. wrap for everyone so now we're moving on to some more fun the girls and I are at Hobby Lobby now and they each have a green and red shoe box in their hands girls what are we doing with these we're packing shoe boxes for Operation Christmas Town that's right this is one of our favorite traditions we do every November we go to Hobby Lobby we get our shoe boxes we get our Samaritan's Purse instructions and we fill these shoe boxes with all sorts of toys and fun surprises and they're gonna be shipped all over the world to kids who might not be getting Christmas presents otherwise. It's a great way to just love on other people and share the gospel with them as well. These are the labels we're gonna use to add. Yep. Who are you gonna pack yours for? I am going to pack mine for a 10 to 14 year old girl. Girl, okay. I'm gonna do five to nine year old girl. So you're packing one for a girl just like you, and Addie's packing one for a girl your age. That makes it nice and easy. So normally we hit a variety of stores to fill these boxes up, but we're just gonna do, since we're here at Hobby Lobby, we're just gonna try to fill our boxes before we check out. Yeah. They give you lots of suggestions you can pack, like toys, school supplies, and other fun items. It is packed at Hobby Lobby right now, so we're gonna see what we can find. What did you find, Addie? I found like prayer journals. So I'm gonna give her one of these. What does it say? Trust in the Lord your God with all your heart. Proverbs, Proverbs? 3, 5. 3, 5. That's a good one, my, or Addie Rue. Mm -hmm. What'd you find? A little cute doggy stuffed animal. Oh, that would be a good cuddly. They suggest trying to find one wow item, so I think a good cuddly stuffed animal is gonna make for a great wow item. I got you get, Maya? a baby secrets pastel. Okay. A surprise moon. Oh. A squishy unicorn. That's a fun. little dog and a journal. Oh, that one's fun. Can Gonna I trade your journal out, Maya? Yes, I am. Oh, that one's cute. That's a good option too. We're heading back to the arts and crafts section to hopefully find some fun markers or crayons or any type of fun artsy things we can stuff inside our boxes. 
I'm gonna get Colors of Kindness crayons. What is it? Colors of Kindness? I like that. And those are all the colors. Hey. Colors of Kindness. I like that. Classic markers. That does the trick. Boop, boom. Okay, what did you get, Mike? Put something else in there. Metallic, oh, metallic colors. colors. Those are some fun. markers for it too. They also have some like party favors. Oh, I'm trying to reach them up here. I got. Oh, okay. These are cute, just little Jesus love me ball, Jesus loves me balls. Those would be kind of fun to kind of sprinkle a couple of those in each of the boxes. Slap mm -hmm. bracelets. Jesus is my jam. I'm mug I think we need some of these. These bracelets are cute. I think I'm gonna add them too. There are a few items that are not allowed in shoe boxes, such as food items, so no food, no candy, any types of liquids, so that's gonna rule out things like slime or toothpaste. Um, but I think despite those items, we're finding a lot to put in our boxes. I think this is gonna be my wow item because I love hats, I have a few, and I love them, and everyone can use more smiley faces. Heart pop it. I'm gonna give her like everything heart and smiley face. It's just <laughs> gonna be amazing. And you can put together these shoe boxes all over the country. So even if you don't have an actual box like we bought here at Hobby Lobby, you can use any shoe box from at home. And I believe if you go to SamaritansPurse.org, you can find all the directions you need to pack your own shoe box. One of my favorite things is you can track your shoe box and see what country it ends up in. That's very true. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to include a few practical items in your box as well, such as a hairbrush, maybe a comb, a toothbrush, even band-aids. I got a cute little hairbrush for my girl. That is very cute. And Addie, what about this cute pouch Ooh, with a smiley face on smiley it? Smiley face on it, let's do it. It fits your theme. Yes, it does. Mr. Colin is with us now. We've just picked him up from kindergarten. We're at the barn for Addie's horseback riding lessons, <laughs> but Colin, Mai, and I are sitting over here on this picnic table, and we're gonna go ahead and get our boxes all organized. We generally like to take everything out of the packages, so it's just nice and ready to open. I don't think that hat's for you, Colin. No. Colin, since Addie's doing her lesson, will you help me out and pack her box for me? Yeah. All right, buddy, you're a good helper. We have some extra Team Jesus bracelets. Would you like one? Team Jesus. What color? My girl, a pink and a blue. And then I'll give her two Colin, I see you got an orange one and a green one. You know what we're forgetting? What? You know what we forgot to put in Addie's what? bin? What's on your head? <laughs> Our boxes are mostly packed, but there's one more thing, or maybe a couple things we're gonna add when we get home. Yes. What else do we like to add? We like to uh, write letters and mm -hmm. send those, and then we like to either add pictures, draw pictures, or take pictures of what, <laughs> us or our family, <laughs> and then show her what we look like. Uh, so we love to just include other little personalized items inside our box. We're going to pray over them, and then we'll ship them off. The shipping week, I believe, this year is November 14th through 21st, so there's still time to get a shoebox put together and drop off at a drop off location so we encourage you guys to check it out if not do it this year you can do it next year